Hello, good afternoon. My name is Krisha Karian. I'm a medical student from Southwestern Filma. Um, can I have your name and age, please? Uh, Randy, I'm 35. So I'll, I will be um, examining your abdomen in order to check any abnormalities. Is that okay with you? Yeah. Okay, now I will be doing the um, inspection in which I need to inspect for scars, the color of the skin, um, dilated veins, rashes, any symmetry, bulges, pulsation, and peristalsis. So, sir, can you please remove your shoe? Now, for inspection, so I'll be checking the color of the skin, if there's any discoloration, or yellowish skin color called jaundice, and for sclera. And if there's presence of purple striae, that is an indication of Cushing syndrome, and also um, spider nevi and cirrhosis. Also, we are going to check for the abdominal contour, if it is flat, protuberant, round, or distended. So, we need also to check for pulsation. If there's um, pulsation in the epigastric area, it is normal. So, peristalsis is also visible in people who are thin. Okay, so there's no any bulges or no uh, any abnormal um, um, peristalsis or pulsation. So now we are going to do the auscultation and we do auscultation before percussion and palpation in order to not alter any bowel sounds because stimulation can increase um, peristalsis. So normal bowel sounds is consists of clicks and gurgles in irregular pattern and the frequency is 5 to 34 per minute. In hypoactive bowel sound, so it is seen in patients with um, paralytic ileus or in peritonitis. In hyperactive bowel sounds, it is usually seen in patients with um, intestinal um, infection or in diarrhea. And in checking for bruise, so we need to auscultate the aorta, iliac arteries, the renal arteries, and the femoral arteries. So in patient with hypertension, so we need to auscultate in each of the four quadrants for bruise. Warm up first the stethoscope. So there's no any presence of release. So in percussion, it helps you assess the amount of distribution of gas in the abdomen, um, viscera, and masses that are solid or fluid in the site of liver and spleen. We can also determine the distribution of dullness and uh, tympani. Both for dull areas suggesting underlying mass and enlarged organs. Now percussion in all four quadrants. Now I will be starting in the right work. So there's no any dullness to hear in the percussion. Panic sounds are usually drum-like in nature and in excess um, gas usually um, shows um, conditions such as ascites. Doing palpation, so there's two kinds. I will do the light palpation, detects any abdominal tenderness and also detect masses from superficial areas in all the four quadrants of the abdomen. When I do this palpation, I must observe any guarding and discomfort in the face of the patient. Now, I will be doing the, the deep palpation in which I'm going to delineate the edge, the kidney, and any enlarged masses. We're going to identify the liver span. So first, we need to identify the upper border of the liver dullness, starting at the nipple line, and we percuss downward in the midclavicular line until the lung resonance shifts to the liver dullness. The liver span is usually 6 to 12 centimeters. This is the part where I heard dullness, so I will be shifting down and then I will be going up. So from here to here. Now I will be using this tool, the ruler. So the liver span of my patient is at 8 centimeters. I will be palpating the liver borders. So the normal liver edge is soft, sharp, and 
regular with a smooth surface. So I will be um, starting the palpation in the right lower quadrant up to the um, below the cost, costal um, margins. If you feel already the edge of the liver, so you palpate it lightly. We note for tenderness and normal liver is usually slight tender. So I will put, be putting my other hand under the patient and all the palpation from starting from the right lower quadrant. Um, liver is slightly tender which is normal next I will be doing the hooking technique it is usually useful in patients who are obese so I will be using my both hands this is the border in which the dullness is present so I will and uh, pushing it upward so can you take a deep breath please and relax doing the exam for urinary bladder so urinary bladder is usually um, not palpated unless it is distended usually it's not palpable for cross here above the pubic surfaces so no any presence of dullness so I'm going to palpate now for dome if there's any distension so there's none um, I will be doing the palpation of kidney. So usually a right kidney is more anterior and is usually distinguishable from the liver. So I will be putting my left hand um, below and palpate my other hand. So we should ask the patient to sit up. So now I will be precaucing the kidney. So I will be using the ball of my hand, put it into the CBA here and use the ulnar surface of my fist and strike it. The left kidney is um, a little higher than the right kidney because the right kidney is being pushed by the liver. Any pain? So now I will be going to um, do special techniques for appendicitis. So there are three. So there's Robsing, Sowa sign, and obturator sign. I will be palpating the left lower quadrant deeply and and we draw it um, quickly. So if there's presence of pain in the right lower quadrant of the patient, so it indicates Rob saying positive. Okay. Patient is negative for rousing sign. So now I will be doing the SOA sign. So I will be putting my hand at the right um, knee of my patient and ask my patient to elevate his legs. A positive SOA sign suggesting irritation of the psoas muscle by the inflamed appendix. Can you raise your leg? Any pain? So next one is the obturator sign. So I will be instructing my patient to turn into his left side. The irritation of the obturator muscle by the inflamed appendix. I will be flexing the patient's right thigh with a bent knee and rotate the leg internally. Any pain? For a Murphy sign. So I'll be asking the patient to exhale and I'll be placing my hand at the costal margin on the right side, the clavicular line, and then ask the patient to inspire. Okay, so positive for Murphy sign is a sharp increase in, in tenderness during inspiratory effort. Sir, can you exhale first? Inhale. Any pain? Okay. Sir, that's all. We finish your abdominal examination. Thank you very much. Today's patient is Rondi Bacolod. He's a 36-year-old patient from Tanisa City. So the abdomen is round and no bulges or masses present. The normal bubble sounds is heard. So there's no unusual tenderness and appendicitis and cholecystitis um, techniques that I've used is all negative. So the liver precoces 8 centimeters to mid clavicular line, which is the liver span, and it's normal. So the kidneys are normal, spleen is also normal, there's no enlargement, and there's no presence of mass or CVA tenderness. Overall, it's a normal abdominal exam.